Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to unravel the fascinating science behind how a kite takes to the sky. Have you ever wondered why a kite doesn't just fall to the ground? Let's explore the secrets of kite flying. There are three key concepts that you need to understand in order to grasp how a kite flies. The first is lift, the second is gravity and tension, and the third one is the role of wind. The first principle behind kite flying is lift. Lift is the force that allows the kite to rise into the air. You see, when wind blows against the kite, it creates different air pressures on the two sides of the kite surface. The air moving over the curved top creates lower pressure, while the air under the flat bottom has higher pressure. This pressure difference generates an upward force called lift, which pushes the kite into the sky. Now, let's talk about the forces that act against the lift. Gravity is the force that pulls everything towards the Earth. So, naturally, gravity tries to bring the kite down. However, the kite string provides tension, which counteracts gravity. The tension in the string keeps the kite suspended and prevents it from falling. The third key principle is the role of wind in kite flying. Wind is crucial for kite flight because it provides the necessary airflow over the kite surface. This airflow generates lift, enabling the kite to rise and stay aloft. The wind speed and direction play a significant role in how well the kite flies and how high it can go. The kite string also serves another important purpose, control. By pulling or releasing the string, the kite flyer can steer the kite in different directions and adjust its altitude. When you pull the string, the kite's nose points upward and it climbs higher. Releasing the string allows the kite to descend. There are various types of kites, each with unique designs that impact their flight. For example, the classic diamond kite is stable and easy to fly, while delta kites are excellent for aerobatics due to their wing shape. Box kites are known for their stability in strong winds. Experimenting with different kite types can be a fun way to explore the science of kite flying. So there you have it, the science behind how a kite flies. Remember, lift, tension, wind, and control are the key principles that make kite flying possible. The next time you fly a kite, think about these forces at play and appreciate the marvel of science in the sky. We hope you enjoyed this educational journey. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might be curious about kite flying. For more exciting content, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. If there are any suggestions for new videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. Thanks for joining us and until next time, happy kite flying.